There are a lot of times when you're machining parts that you have to cut all around the perimeter and you need to rough out the material as quickly and efficiently as possible without damaging the cutter. In Fusion 360, we have a, a great option for that. It's called 2D Adaptive Clearing, which is right here. It creates a roughing operation that uses a more optimized tool path that avoids ab abrupt direction changes. Um, it's really good because it keeps constant tool engagement uh, on the pot, which is much more effective for clearing material quickly. Uh, so when we set this up for adaptive one, we hopefully you've already got this made. So uh, new setup. We're going to, uh, you know, pick wherever us uh, datum is going to be. But the stock is going to be different from what we've been doing. Um, the mode for stock is not going to be relative. It's going to be fixed size box. Click on that, and we're going to put in all the uh, the different X, Y, and Z dimensions. So the X, the width of this, is going to be 1.625. Two inch is going to be the depth of the Y direction. And then the Z is going to be 0.75 thick. And you can see this is kind of floating in the middle of the stock. We're going to push that up to the top. So we're going to go model position, change that to offset from top. Change our offset to 20 thousandths. Looks like I missed something there. Whoops. Change the wrong one there. There we go. 20,000 is offset from the top. All right. So we'll be grabbing this. It'll be sitting above the vise where the cutting's taking place. Post processor, make sure your WCS offset is set to one. Put your program number that you want and any notes. All right. So we're going to use uh, just a half inch angle to do this. So I'm going to do a facing operation first with it. We'll find, <clears throat> find my half inch end mill. There we go. And okay, we'll use that to face. That's a very small step over. I'm going to increase the, the size of the step. That's too many cuts. So step over, make that 0.45. That's a little bit, little bit smaller than the width of the end mill. Much better. Now, around the outside, we want to clear out as much of this stock as possible. And you can see this, you know, it's a little bit more on the corners. So um, with the 2D adaptive clearing, if we do that next, that's going to really um, make it nice and simple. So 2D adaptive clearing, we've already got the tool in here. As far as the geometry selection, we're going to select the bottom contour, all right? So that all the way around that chain. And for our heights from the selected contour, we want to go a little bit deeper, so minus 10 thousandths to make sure we get it all done. And then after that, we want to check our optimal load. Optimal load is the most that you want it to step sideways at a time. And that's going to be 10 thousandths, uh, sorry, 10% of the uh, diameter of the end mill is the, probably the best for tool engagement. So 10% of 0.5 is 0 0.05. Just move that decimal point over once to the left. And we're going to change that optimal load to 50 thousandths. Stock to leave, 10 thousandths on the side, nothing on the bottom. All right. Radial stock to leave, 10 thousandths. Axial stock to leave, zero. And that's it. I just hit OK. And you can see what it did is it knocked those corners off first, and then it went around the entire, the entire pot itself. All right. So we left 10 thousandths, which means we need to go back and do a finish contour cut. So we'll go to 2D contour. Same tool. We'll select the same geometry down the bottom. Our bottom height from the selected contour should be minus 10. Okay, bottom height, very important. You go down a little bit deeper and make sure you have no roughing passes. Okay. 
no stock to leave, just one cut all the way around. And we're good to go there. Go back and to the setup itself and do a simulation of that. And we'll see all the operations from facing, adaptive clearing, see how that takes a little bit off at a time on, on all the corners first. And then it does a full contour around to finish it. And that is how you can use adaptive clearing.